Hello, hello. All right, folks, here it is. RBC Pro 1.4 is out now. You can check it out on Blender Market or Gumroad. I know it's been a few months since the last update, but I have been working hard on this, um, trying to jam pack all the features that have been requested and that I've wanted to see in RBC for a long time. Um, so it's just taking some time. I uh, appreciate your patience with that. I'm just going to go over the features in 1.4. And then later in the next few weeks, you'll see a full tutorial with everything you need to know to get started with RBC Pro. All right, let's go over some of these features in 1.4 here. First off, we have some new rigging options. So you can customize different rig configurations and actually save them. We have some new uh, rigging features here. We have the motorcycle features. So you have handlebars, uh, shocks, and swing arm suspension. You can customize this to even create four wheelers now. We have articulating steering. So you can create loader vehicles or any other kind of articulating vehicle you can think of. So so that's pretty cool. Uh, we have some quick rig improvements as well as you can now rig a car rigs. Uh, this was a feature request from somebody. They had a lot of rig a car armatures. So you can now just click armature, click quick rig, and it will convert it to an RBC armature. The next up, we have the scenes tab. This replaces the RBC collections tab. You can see here we have some simple uh, scene parameters for the performance and the physics. And then you have your collection and statistics. Statistics kind of replaces the speedometer. So we have a lot more that we can view. We can actually see the speed, the wheel slip, velocities, contact points, and actually engine statistics. Uh, that's a cool feature. And then here we have the tire marks feature, which will simulate tire marks on your ground. A lot of customizability with the material here. Next to that, we have tires smoke which is a highly requested feature uh, lots of customizations you can also do here it was pretty cool we're using the slip ratio and putting it into the tire marks and the tire smoke giving a much more realistic result uh, which is pretty sweet for tuning we uh, can also save the tuning presets you have default tuning presets here you can also customize your own so basically it will save all your tuning parameters and then you can apply it to whichever vehicle you have selected uh, and then along with the tuning, we have the new features like the tire physics. So you can now get squishy tires, actually absorb some of the impact and are not just using the basic rigid body cylinders anymore, along with some other wheel collider improvements and customizability there. And then also now we have different steering types. So we have Ackerman, Anti-Ackerman, and Parallel. Before we just had Parallel, Ackerman's the standard of steering in real world vehicles. Um, so that's nice to have. Along with that, we have a new differential type. We can change the differential type of our drive axles to open locked or limited slip. So it just adds an extra layer of realism to our rigs now that they are driving like real cars. For the body, we now have a mesh collision system instead of the convex hole. And now we can do concave objects to get a much closer representation of the body model. And then a really cool feature that I'm excited for is the engine simulator. So you can either choose between a basic or an advanced engine here. And then the advanced engine acts like a real world engine. You can put in specs of an engine parameter and then you'll get the actual speed outputs. So that's a very cool feature here. Physics tab. This has features that will help control the physics of your vehicle. We have the downward force. This replaces the roll constraint in 1.3. This essentially just adds a force to your wheels to clamp them down to the ground. We have the lean force. This is for your motorcycles. So you can lean into your turns. There's a little bit of that in 1.3, but this has been improved significantly. And then we have traction control. It's a very helpful feature for controlling the tire friction. Uh, this essentially adds forces to the wheel instead of relying on the default friction model that rigid bodies use. So you have a lot more control over the movement of your vehicle. And then below that, we have drift control. This works a lot like traction control. It just controls the lateral slip of your wheels. So you can control both the front and the back wheels to customize the drift of your vehicle. So another feature request from somebody was to do multiple controllers. So you can now use multiple controllers within an RBC to control your vehicles. You know, if you have some buddies you want to play around with to help create your scene. Small improvements to the keyboard. We now use incremental times, so it's not zero or 50. You can actually increment it. So it's a little more control there. Uh, another improvement I'm excited about is the improvement to the guide path. So we now don't have to use Bezier curves. We can use any type of curve. And along with traction control, we have a lot more control over the animation along the path. Moving on to animation, you can now do multiple uh, cache files. So you can save and add more uh, cache files, so different simulations you can run. And then you can convert it to keyframes easily, as well as you can live keyframes. So if you don't want to mess with the cache, 
you just want to keyframe, you can go ahead and record the keyframes live, and then your vehicle will be instantly converted to keyframes. So we have a lot more control over the animation system now, as well as we have an export tab here. The export tab was a surprisingly requested feature. A lot of people like to export their animations to Unreal Engine, so we have a quick export tab for uh, softwares like Unreal. And the collisions tab, not much has changed. We just have this small debug feature here called Ghost Bodies. It helps find rich body objects that are not in your scene anymore, but may cause issues. So you have the option to find those and either unlink them or delete them. I think that's about it for the features. I'm sure I'm missing something, but that's just a quick overview. Again, you will see a greater explanation in the full tutorial coming soon. But yeah, big goal for RBC 1.4 was to just um, give you guys ultimate control over the physics simulation and improve it to the best of its ability and also to solidify RBC Pro. I've been working on the documentation for it, updating the product page to make it look, look a little more professional, which actually Extra 3D has been helping me with. He's been gracious with his time working on it for me. A shout out to him, great guy. He makes amazing tutorials and also sells products. So I'll link him below, you can check him out. So what's next for RBC? I'm not entirely sure. I think this might be the last major update for it. I've rewritten it about four times now. I'm looking forward to something new. It hasn't been the only project I've been working on, but working on a lot of cool stuff, a lot of physics-based add-ons, some projects that I'm really excited for, and some that I think you will be excited for too. So uh, follow along if you want to keep informed about that. But yeah, this is a free update. If you have already purchased the add-on, you can find this in your download section. If you have purchased it and you would like to see more from me and to support me and see uh, more updates in the future, if you're able to just provide a small little tip on the Gumroad page, on the free section, whatever you think it's worth, uh, whatever you can afford would be great. That motivates me to keep going and also buys me the time to continue to do this. And uh, I've been really lucky to do this for the past few years. It is something that I love doing and I'd like to keep doing. So yeah, I just want to say I really appreciate everybody who's purchased the add-on, who's said nice things about it, who's supported me through the past few years. It really means a lot to me so thank you for that i hope you guys enjoy this update uh, and i can't wait to see what you guys create with it